Friends, I want to talk to you today about a journey, not just any journey, but a journey from fear to freedom. Every single one of us here today has faced fear at some point in our lives. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. These fears can paralyze us, hold us back from achieving our true potential. But what if I told you that on the other side of fear lies freedom? Freedom to achieve, to thrive, to live the life you've always dreamed of. Imagine for a moment what life would be like if you weren't afraid. Picture yourself reaching for your dreams without that voice in your head telling you, I can't. This is not just a fantasy. This can be your reality. The first step in overcoming fear is recognizing that fear is not your enemy. It is a signpost pointing you toward growth, toward opportunities for development. Think about the last time you faced something that scared you. Remember the pounding of your heart, the sweat on your palms. Now remember how you felt after you faced that fear. There's a good chance you felt alive, invigorated, maybe even unstoppable. That's because facing our fears doesn't just help us grow. It ignites a fire within us, a fire that propels us forward towards our goals and dreams. But how do we face our fears? It starts with a decision, a decision to move forward despite the fear. Tony Robbins says, deciding to commit yourself to long-term results rather than short-term fixes is as important as any decision you'll make in your lifetime. So make that decision. Commit to facing your fears, not as obstacles, but as opportunities. Next, understand that the path will not always be easy. There will be setbacks. There will be days when the fear seems insurmountable. But remember, it's not the absence of fear that defines courage. It's how you act in spite of it. It's about taking that step, even when your feet feel glued to the ground. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, who believe in you even when you struggle to believe in yourself. Jim Rohn once said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, so choose wisely. Surround yourself with a community that encourages you to leap into the unknown, to face your fears head on, and finally, visualize your success. See yourself overcoming your fears, achieving your goals. Bob Proctor taught us the power of visualization, the ability to see our future before it happens. When you can see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. So I ask you, what fear is holding you back? What dreams are you not pursuing because of that fear? Today, let's make a pact, a pact to face our fears, to step out of our comfort zones and to pursue our dreams with relentless passion. Because on the other side of fear lies freedom, success, and a life filled with joy and fulfillment. Remember, my friends, in the words of Earl Nightingale, we become what we think about. So think big, think bold, and most importantly, think fearless. The journey from fear to freedom starts now. Let's embark on this journey together with courage, with determination, and with the belief that our best days lie ahead. Thank you.